<laughs> oh, God damn it, it's the D-pad. I'm Rick. I'm Jeff. And I'm Peter. And this is our second battle in close proximity with Cyrus. It was maybe Kylos. a week ago, maybe a little. I think less than that. I less. think it was like three or four episodes previously. Yeah. I wonder if he'll have a skun tank and a gall bag. Oh, in the like in in the hour that we've been apart, he uh, evolved his Murkrow. That's nice. Oh, the levels are climbing very rapidly all of a sudden. Went from thirty nine to forty five. Yep. yep. So that's that's a pretty well, speedy. He gave you a master ball, but he also has a bag of a hundred rare candies that <laughs> he's right. not sharing. Also, we have not had an opportunity to catch anything worthy of a Master Ball in the interim. I, kn I know what I used it on. Gyarados. I mean, this big guy, right? Yeah, I'm not going to make the same mistake that I've made in the past. I've literally lost this this exact Pokemon to a Gyarados by going, oh, thun uh, Thunderbolt, and then having it just, like, destroy my dude. Oh, no, I got rid of Grass Knot. Wait, but why Thunderbolt bad against it's not bad it's extremely effective the problem was at the time oh no it wasn't this it was a uh, it was a manectric or the pre-evolution for manectric oh oh it was one that had like lightning rod or something uh no he just got a crunch in and it one hit killed my dude yeah, oh right. gyarados oh, oh Mega Man's got this yeah shit. that's awesome in the basket actually that's not even entirely true might be like, uh, you're fine you can still do it. Little nervous. No, little anything nervous you do four-time effective, you're fine. Also, it's attack, and this is physical, so this might be a little bit tricky. It's but. it's gonna be fine. Thrash. Oh, balls. He's staying in here for just this. Whoa! Fucking hell. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gyarados is dangerous enough with uh, with um, the bite. Yeah. I think he like, can also be kind of fast, too, which is the other thing. Yeah, yeah, Gyarados is quick. Manectric is very... Geomech oh, he's got an trick. electric defense thing, the probably. The anti-super effecto, yeah. Didn't Don't matter. Didn't help matter. him enough. He's like, no, my stomach is full as I die! I believe that takes it down from quad effective to double effective. He's flying that water right, yeah. to um, yeah, cause those, to those, just one. Those tight berries uh, r cut the damage in half. That so, shovel yeah. berry is nice. but The shovel berry was... Pretty clutch. It may not have actually saved the thing, but I think it took the wind out of John's sails in a real. It big was a way. surprise, and that's what you want. Uh, dark and ice. Um, yeah, anything you can do to put someone off of their expected rhythm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's like a big thing in sport. They think they can take you. They think they can get rid of this Pokemon and go to the next, and then suddenly it does far less damage than they expected. And they're like, "Oh shit! Oh, do I have to rethink the whole thing? Yep. Oh wait, it was yep. a berry. But they wait, how much is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. I th it felt it felt like punctuation on that in a big way. It's a nice surprise trick. Yes. Did it ultimately matter? Maybe not, but yeah. it certainly felt good. I mean, it's so impossible to know. Unless yeah. it was literally the next turn, a Pokemon battle gets so randomized so quickly. Ice Dark? Uh, ice Dark, which means it's weak to steel. Well, sounds like the perfect time to Flash Cannon. Well, oh, like, never mind. Or uh, it's the perfect time to pull uh, so Natalie yeah, out for a sec. Yeah, maybe get on rid of Pippa. I mean, the, the dig still won't hurt Pippa enough, but that ground ah, versus I'm weak steel. to ground. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a single weak. It'll hurt, but Pippa's, Pippa's thick. Yeah, but Natalie's yeah. immune, and yeah. then you can U-turn. Correct. And get a, sh a parting shot. The big thing I want to be sure about is not getting hit by an ice attack next, because that'll be stab and super effective. Um, so how f Natalie is fast. Natalie's very I fast. Isn't U turn reduced priority? I, one step. So that means that any move they use is going to be correct. Faster, and so. there's really no ice. You moves. still go f first. If it's reduced priority, they will go first unless they also pick a reduced priority move. Certain thing. That's what I'm saying. There's no ice moves that are minus one priority that I can think of that would be damaging. Well, okay, you're just gonna put Pippa back in for yeah. the dig. I don't know. It's not going to use Dig again. If I'm immune to it, they're not just going to... Trainer Pokemon... Trained Pokemon are smart enough to not just reuse... Yeah, there we go. Okay. To not just it's reuse moves do like nothing. that. Yeah. The problem is going to be that it's likely to uh, go first It'll again. dig and be faster this time. But Ket doesn't... Just use Earthquake. Yeah, I was about to say, doesn't Earthquake hit underground? I forget if Earthquake does. I know Fissure uh, becomes a 100% accuracy move. There we go. Well, it's doing something. Oh, God. <laughs> Oof. A skeleton comes up from the ground when it finishes <laughs> using Dig. I'm just going to fucking troll this guy. Sure. Do it again. 
Oh, he used a... <laughs> oh, no, a, he used Underground Pursuit! Yeah, right. A special move only Cyrus can what, do. What moves do hit while you're dig... while you're dug? Something uh, does. Earthquake is one of them. Um, I think Fissure... Fissure is another one that will always hit. There's also some interaction, I think, with, like... No guard and... And... Not being able to be hit. There's some weirdness there. There's also... I feel like there's a ghost move that'll hit. Oh, you bitch. Well, he's a big boss, and he's, you know, gonna use his item stock. At least he used it on a weenie and not his ace. That's true. He's got one more Pokemon after yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and dig again. It did not learn. <laughs> Let's do it again. Give me give me range. Or crit. That's oh! Ooh, I was supposed to say it's pretty big for range, but I almost got shut up pretty quickly. Oh... I'm probably fast enough to just end this with, with Natalie, but also... Oh, yeah, what does it use? It's using Aerial Ace? It used Aerial Ace against... Um, yeah, so it does it not own any ice moves? Maybe not. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'll chance it. I'll chance it here. Yeah, again, uh, what? Seven levels, and Crobat isn't the, like, babiest of Pokemon. No, Cro I mean... Crobat is fast. Crobat is yes, really that's fast. that's its thing. It is very quick. But. My worry was anything with priority that was, like, really good there For or something. For a fast but. Pokemon, though, it's got not bad defense and specialty. Lucky wants to learn Crunch at long last. Hooray. Finally get to get rid of Bite. Uh, oh. It's a question of do I keep... Uh, I don't... I Realistically, I don't need Volt Switch and Roar. Are you still battling John? Yes. Who cares about Thunder Wave? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I thought you said no. No, I am. I what? I said I, yes. Didn't you beat him? Yeah, yes. well, he is. But you're just he is beaten out of being able to win on face offs. Okay, but you're still. But they're still gonna him. be fighting. Okay, well then, Thunder Wave can still be really useful. Yes, um, it can still be really useful in general too. If shit looks dire, then Thunder Wave can really turn things around. Yeah. Okay. Start rolling dice. That Weavile uh, had Metal Claw, Fling, Dig, and Aerial Ace. Okay. No ice moves. Yeah, huh, surprising. Uh, fling was the only uh, stab move it had then. Yeah. Fling's dark, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's not even that good if it doesn't have an item. It started with an item as well. Okay, it had one. Yeah, that it had makes a berry. sense then. I mean, Roar, if you want crunch, roar. if you want more coverage, like, Roar is so specific. Roar was like... Roar was to like help a, disrupt with John's stuff and also compound your the effectiveness of the stealth rock. Yeah, which never lined up correctly enter anyway. Yeah. It's t it's tough to get that to work, in my opinion. But having the threat there was important for how the battle went, mm, basically. Yeah. Well, there's, I mean, the move Dragon Tail, which is basically Roar, but also a 40 power dragon move. Now that can work because yeah. you know not a lot resists dragon, and at the same time, like you know, it'll it'll move it out and also hit it. So that's, does that's, hurricane also switch the opponent's Pokemon? Um, there's a flying move that does that. I don't remember if it's called. Well, hurricane, there's whirlwind that does. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, of. that one does not do damage. I don't think. I might be wrong. No, I don't. No, I think whirlwind and roar are functionally the same. Yeah, yeah, I think they don't actually hit. Wow, it is that fast. From 10 levels down, it still outspeeds. Yeah, me. that's pretty impressive. That was a crit, though. I feel good about that. Bye, Crobat. <laughs> oh, my bones! Uh, Cyrus is like, yes, we're going to do it. Uh, oh. Suddenly, it's just a fucking pile of ash. <laughs> uh, no! Billy! Oh, he, he nicknamed his Pokemon. Yeah, He's the first childhood. trainer in history. Yeah, he caught that as a Zubat when he was seven. Aw, oh, sorry, Billy. <laughs> Your bones will nourish the earth. <laughs> the power spoken of mythology. Uh, Hurricane has a 30% chance to cause confusion. Really? Okay. It doesn't do a swap. What is truly the ultimate oh, to you? so Hurricane is damaging, but no swap. Yeah. Okay. Damaging non-contact move with a chance to cause confusion. Like the ultimate mine. Oh, that It'll hits be underground else and we will dig plutonium. <laughs> yes. Platoonium? platoonium. We're gonna mine hot babes out and of then, the earth, and then we're gonna form a whole platoon. We're gonna <laughs> fuck so, the grand underground. We're gonna make the great underground. Yes. We're gonna call it the Pluto platoon. It's gonna be all hookers and booze. <laughs> the platoon, and also the hookers will be our army. Dialga, An the master army of, of hookers time. shooting booze out of cannons. I'm always going with Dialga. <laughs> Is it supposed to be Dialga it shooting booze? Like <laughs> pew pew, like a like a sundial. I Is that the idea. 
Probably. And how Pearl would be pronounced pal if you don't know how to pronounce Pearl. Uh, <laughs> what? Open up that clam and get a pile. I don't know. There was a whole, like, this universe, next universe, like, tear between the two. That was, was a I, big... I always said dia, because, you know, the, the you know, duality of something, this diamagnetism, that kind of thing. Pronunciation but... guide says dialga. Dialga? Dialga. Okay. Well, sorry, right. dialga with the stress in the middle syllable, because yeah. English. Dialga. But... But D D E E as the as the not phonetically spelled out pho phonetic spelling. I had to jam a mm -hmm. little while ago because they're I, not using the the diacritic marks. I honestly forgot what the Pokemon's IPA, name was until you mentioned it because I named mine Violencia. <laughs> so Gear here's the thing: Giratina. I'm pretty sure this is one of those battles where I, I like Pokemon has changed the formula just enough to make this really annoying. This is a game where you do. Beat it up and catch it, not like a let's go situation or anything else where you beat it up to death and then and catch it. And then you get the chance to throw balls at it. Yeah. No, no, this is, I believe this is a real actual Pokemon yeah. catch. Uh, let's see. Psychic and Steel, I think, is the is the typing here. Uh, Which would mean, let's see, Lucky would be good to defend. Uh, Lucky would be good to defend Steel. I forget if Steel resists Dark. Um, George Dude eh, has Ground, which is good against Steel, but Steel is good against Rock. rock. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I so in this game, you don't get an opportunity at the other Legendary. At all? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean... So this would be the... I feel like this would be the, the time. I don't want to fucking color your decision, but this Pokemon fucks and is dangerous. Oh, yeah, dangerous. it's a legendary. It's yeah. so dangerous. The only thing I'm... The only reason I'm not, like... Normally, I'd be like, oh, Master Ball, obviously. My, my one worry is... Not worry, but presumably, as you progress into post-game, you get Arceus, who is going to be... I would have to guess a level 70, because they love level 70 oh, for I mean, I never did know post-game business. Uh, well, I did like wait, yeah, you did minutes of it. You you did like two street, two <clears> or three <throat> streams of it. Yeah, we did the like the battle area and the oh, right. island thing, but we never actually went like, I never went to the end of it. Pippa would resist steel as well. It was kind of fun because it was tough battles, but I, that was like okay, that's it. There's no more story. Yeah. I and I did. I suspended Nuzlocke rules for the end too. I was like, we're just gonna go in and fight battles. We we've done that once or twice in post games as well. Just when the if the post game is like really fucking confusing and weird, then mm. Yeah, the the difficulty spikes on yeah. the battle island. I think that's what it's called. Let's put the starter out front. So one of the requirements to be able to catch Arceus in this game is having Legends Arceus. Oh is it really? What? <laughs> that's legitimately hilarious. Wow. You have to have a save file for Arceus. Yeah, where that's terrible, but it is also where funny. you've completed all the main missions. <sighs> Including the post-game missions. Ass hats. Oh, you have to have caught Arceus in Legends Arceus. Oh, to no, get no, and Arceus. completed all the missions. I haven't done that yet. What the and fuck? And you're the person I, who has played Arceus the most of anybody I know. Over oh, 100 hours. Oh, I have man. Arceus. I just haven't completed all the missions. Jesus. That's, that's so too much. So, in my file oh, let's of do this. Brilliant Diamond, I can't <coughs> catch Arceus. <laughs> yeah, ba, boo, boo. Not it's yet. Just a baby. Just stomp on it. Babies ah. are weak to that. Don't attack me. I'm just the player. I like the glitchy backgrounds and shit. Oh, that's a fun look. Right, what level are you? My guess is like 60, maybe 50. So this is interesting. I, I realized I said it earlier that I caught Dialga. I meant to say I caught Giratina, the other one. Right, for the platinum 40, one. Yes. Is this the first time... Who doesn't show up in this game? Is this yeah. the first time that like the, the a game Legendary is not a round number? Quite possibly, yeah. 40 47 is why weird. Why 47? Um, that was the level of Cyrus's ace. Yeah, it's just weird that they wouldn't make it level 50 or sure. level 45, but he's a legendary, so it's just very strong. I guess they just didn't give a shit. They're like, fine, we'll just make it a, a realistic number. My worry is that I'm going to use Earthquake and kill it immediately. And I don't want to do that. Uh, I mean... Do I just fucking Master Ball it and walk away? This, like, this Pokemon is so good. Right? If like, you're going to continue doing battles, it will be on your team. Oh, obviously, yeah. I did the same thing with Kyogre. And, like, don't risk... I mean, I guess if you wanted to throw a quick ball and, like, hope for a, for a I like, mean, luck... Yeah, a quick ball might do it. 
If not, I would go with the master ball. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't. Let's try the quick. Ball. I wouldn't even fuck around. Yeah, Just, I mean that was I a mean, weak you could, throw. <laughs> you can make your own call because it is your. Yeah. Right. Okay, I was like, if this happens, it'll be like roar of time. Okay, which is a steel move, I think is so intense. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot for being at least non, one, if not double resisted. Non-effective like almost um, half I here. think I just have to. Yeah. I, I can't risk Pip out here and if every move has the risk. Granted, the other moves are not going to be as good as Roar of Time, but also I can't just sit here and fucking heal through this over and over I, again. No. And if I kill it, I don't know that this is a Pokemon that will revive itself to be caught again. This so, is one of those Roar things of time is where, like, in type? use your elixirs oh, in shit. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like, you know, use your use your consumable items, because otherwise you'll be in the last yeah. fight, and you'll have 30 elixirs it. in your pocket. Let's not fuck around with it. It just swats it away. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> Punk. I don't need this. Fuck it. I, I I got what I came for, which is to win the padlock. Correct. I don't need to, I don't need to lose my whole team over Correct. pride. I don't think you need risk reward here. I think it'll be fun to have this to go against John, yeah. and I... I I'm pretty well, sure. Well, if John you don't do it, John will. John will get. Yeah. Palkia. Oh, John. Yeah. I think. One hundred percent uses Monster Ball on Palkia and Steel put him Dragon, on the team. Steel, not Steel Psychic. Yeah. My yeah. bad. Kicks ass, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Gonna... And Roar of Time is a Dragon type move. Yeah. Has the power control time? It appears in Sinnoh region myths as an ancient deity. Uh, yeah. Should I call him a Kimbo? Like the other? I, it's a <laughs> Kimbo. I kind of like it. Or no, there was a Kimbo and there was elbows, and I think. Oh, I forget which one I named it. Oh, no. You're talking about the... In Legends. Oh, pull up, right. pull okay. up the wiki. <laughs> yeah, just fuck shit. D-pad wiki. I think I named it Akimbo. With the knowledge, with the idea that Elbows is its cute nickname. Let me just wait real quick while it loads. Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, our, the server wakes to, up and reload and puts our website back in its cache. I need to. I need to figure out something is wrong with the Apache setup on there. The wiki loads so slow. Yeah, that's on me. I. I and it goes twenty percent in and then halts. Yep. So I goes, imagine oh, sorry, something Kimbo. is like oh. really thinking about it. A K I M B O. Yeah. Oh no, Sarah. Sarah's at a wedding right now with her folks. And I, I guess her mom almost tri almost tripped over a child on the dance floor. Oh boy! Big oops time. Um, the only references to the words akimbo we have on the D pad are akimbo stun batons from Barotrauma, and with his dick akimbo from Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, yep. which was probably the episode where it got discussed. Is there not a? I, I was gonna go to the. Uh, maybe I named him Elbows and the. I mean, you want you, me to look at a is particular there a catch, Pokemon? Is list? there a catch list for Arceus on the? That's what I was about to go look up. And honestly, I'm wondering if we actually we may not have had an opportunity to nickname it yet, because we've been locked into so many plot things. Oh my god, that's right. We had so many cutscenes. We we fought Dialga. We caught it. Then we, we had were a bunch like, of cutscenes. We should, we should end soon. Your last and episode. Then like, and then we fought. Yeah, we did like two more hours. So you've got with his dick akimbo. So that was surprisingly easy. The story of you and my little Palkia are your yeah four episodes towards the end of yep. Arceus. It was like one little batch at the end there. I, I'm just going to go with akimbo. Sure. Because I think that was the plan. Well, I'm going to go back and find out that I went the other way with it. I'm like, oh, yeah, elbows. But uh, we're going to call it akimbo. <laughs> I think akimbo makes more sense, though. He's a very elbowy. Very elbowy guy. Yeah, you got four of them. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, there's no catch list for Arceus. We're doing it. Akimbo. I, I, I mean, it's not one where there is... Because you're uh, not padlocking, right? So there's nobody who's, like, feeling as inclined to track your yeah. catch list. Yeah, Especially because yeah. Arceus's goal is living decks. Yeah, yeah, get all the fucking Pokemon. Or Pokedex it, I was going to say decks complete, decks. not living decks, I think. But. Yeah, decks complete. Oh, so this is a hard fucking call. Yeah, um, this is a pretty balanced. So Pippa team. is steel, but I'm not getting rid of my starter. No, water Nobody is such a water is a very key. Like, like well, also what starters dragon, just have better stats than most Pokemon. What does dragon bring to the table that you can drop somewhere else? Uh, dragon and steel have dope resistances. Yeah, like, dragon it, is resistant to the like common elements: fire, grass, electric, water. Uh, steel is resistant to fucking everything under the sun. Weaknesses: Steel is weak to fire, fighting, ground. So Dialga has only weaknesses to fighting and ground, and they're yeah. double. It resists normal, water, electric, double resists grass, ice is neutral, 
Same with fire. Nice. Poison is fully resistant. Oh, fairy would be neutral also. Flying, then. one half. Psychic, half. Bug, half. Rock, half. Ghost, dragon, dark, neutral. Steel, half. Fairy, oh, neutral. Oh, man. It's um, just, it's such, like, it's space stat total is 680, man. George, dude? I was debating George, dude. The double weaknesses to water and grass are rough, but also... I'm never going to put him out against those unless I'm in an, a face-off battle where I'm using my guaranteed sturdy move for something. Right, um, right. George Dude has been your your guaranteed stealth rock in the face-offs. Yeah, but well, so okay. Steel maybe Delmar because really he's a glass cannon, and and instead you'll have someone really hardy on your team. Maybe, it, but it it does swap your like. Strength against fighting for a weakness for fighting. That's the th so dragon is only super effective against dragon. I Dialga think. is almost as tanky as George Dude is statistically in defense, and double as tanky in special. I defense. mean, it's it's a legendary. Its stats are going to beat everything in yeah, this. Yeah, it this, just kicks its ass. This party is the thing. I'm just trying to think like in terms of strategy. It's a very type defensive Pokemon, which is great. Sure. On offense, it is super effective against dragon. Against fairy, which is a nice combination to have, uh, rock, especially coming into the final leg of the game. Yeah, rock and ice. That might be it for super effective based, like super effective stab. I guess. E yeah, dragon is only super effective against dragon. Yeah. Um, you've got the neutral across the board, which is not bad, and then the steel type, um, ice. Rock, rock, fairy, uh, fairy, yeah, and dragon. Uh, uh, steel is steel is not super effective. Yeah, it's dragon. neutral on dragon, but dragon. But dra dragon. yeah, dragon has it from yeah. the other dragon type. So it's like it would be a great replacement for like a fighting Pokemon, but I don't have a fighting Pokemon. Yeah, it's really it's really not a like uh, you got mm. great matchups. It's just can you beat a god? I <laughs> I almost feel like Lucky makes the most sense, just because. Electric Pokemon are really tough to use effectively as games go on, generally speaking. They're really good for water and flying. They're really bad against ground. And otherwise, they're functionally just a normal type Pokemon with a penchant for paralysis and can't be paral uh, paralyzed themselves. Mm. IMO, <clears throat> Delmar, Pete Rose... And George, dude, over the other three would be my recommendations. Pete Rose, if you keep lucky, you've got the the water beater. Um, you don't need the poison element of Pete Rose. Um, Delmar is just a psychic type. Like it's got its advantages. It's dangerous, but it it's it's flimsy enough. You don't want to throw it out for a neutral type matchup. Hmm. You know, plenty of damage, glass cannon sort of deal. George, dude, you'd be replacing your tank for another tank. Like, George, dude, does not f kill. George, dude, lives. And has those, like, stat... Or not stat moves. Uh, you know, stealth rock and things like that. Uh, well, okay, let's let's start by... All right, Pippa's safe, Natalie's safe. Sure. Those two are staying no matter what. I, I think those are two great Pokemon. Yeah. Um, Oh boy, George Dude. Hmm. I can see arguments for and against the other four. Pete Rose is tricky. Pete Rose has been like fine for utility stuff. Good against water. Good against uh um ground rock. I feel mm -hmm. like there's been very few situations where Pete Rose has been the choice. Yeah. And he's always he's mostly come in because he's like acceptable yeah I, mm. that might be the best metric actually I'm gonna switch my vote I had said George dude once I'm gonna say Pete Rose would yeah be, would be my recommendation the only he, he's, he's like useful in a pinch but put yeah. in a god the only two overlaps in my opinion are lucky and Pete Rose because you need something to take out water and all of its combos and it's either electric or it's grass and electric also covers your flying type, whereas glass or uh, grass is weak to it. Yeah, like Roselia is not bad. It's a pretty good Pokemon, but I feel like it's one that you want to put like gimmicky moves on, and you know, 
I don't remember uh, what a Miracle Seed bad. does. Yeah, I guess so. For anyone asking, Akimbo has the name Kim in it, so obviously that still counts for my names. Ah, <laughs> uh, you should have done a small A. You remember that or guy? Or A with a space. Uh, Akimbo? Went to college with a guy named Akimbo. You know, Akimbo Slice. Yep. Ringo, I don't know how you... You're magnificent. Truly, you're incredible. Ho, 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 ho. I also talk with a southern accent when I get nervous. I just went to Dixie and now I'm southern. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrown like this. I was around in Hishui times. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was only 60 years I ago. I had sex yeah. twice and it wasn't as good as this. <laughs> <laughs> the second one wasn't as good as the first one either. <laughs> yeah, oh, bummer. <laughs> Whenever that I went to, to high school with a uh, comes up, I'm always reminded of the fact that the most ridiculous actual person's name um, that I've had in my sphere of influence is Montana Mountain McGee. Ooh, that's nice. That's a real ass name. Yeah, that sounds like a, a name from a farce uh, or a, a you know yo camera parody. Don't, maybe we don't have the creepy camera move as, as he mutters to himself under his breath. No one, no has, one has the right, right to talk. Anyone's future. future. Anyone's, world. Anyone's world. Except me. Don't look in my briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> my great grandfather had that opinion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, now I've swung I, to the sciency ways. I'm curious if that was always in there as part of this game, and that's why they chose uh, uh, Commander Commodo to to be the one who like goes berserk and tries to take you know control of everything. Was it really a Pokemon that created the Sinner region? Moving forward to seeing your Pokedex. Go places you never visited before. Um, we should encounter Pokemon you haven't seen. We have not gone into the basement yet. This guy should be geeking out about the fact he just caught a god. So to answer your question, Don, no. <laughs> this region was made by geology. <laughs> <laughs> was the this made by god? slowly pushed the crust up and deposited fresh rock. And that is why there's this cinder cone shaped mountain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this goofy voodoo that you speak of, Peter? And, and that vent has moved off to the side somewhat, which is why there's a volcano off the coast. <laughs> then explain chains of islands. More, I just more volcanoes. did. <laughs> what? I literally just did. <laughs> that. Uh, oh, no, I guess, wait, no. yeah. This, I guess Sinnoh is a. It's, it's a two island chain. Yeah, yeah, no. okay. I was it, thinking it was a big ass continent, but no. No, it's it's uh, it, and maybe it's actually a four island chain, but two of them are still sub ocean islands. Sure, and not very active volcanoes. Because oh. like Sinnoh's cone is Helps not keep Pokemon away a volcano the, anymore. Uh. Yeah, pure incense is meh. But there is an active volcano island off the coast. Oh, let's start will with this. Will you look at um? Um, Pippa's stats, and then look at Akimbo stats real quick. I will. I'm just I actually at the nine level. Difference. Yeah, with the with the big difference, I'm oh, yeah. really curious just to see their like raw. So one seventy fifty twenty special 10, 30, attack on Pippa ninety eight. All right. Okay. Okay. And down four. Uh, comparable. <laughs> special attack is much more, but everything else. Uh, physical attack is actually less. Yeah. But oh no, no, it nine I was mixing those up. No, yeah. Nine levels. Yeah, from below. nine levels down, these are actually their defense is the same. It the will, speed is a little less. The it, special defense is a little more because less because it has negative speed nature. Yeah. Yeah. Like these two are actually quite comparable from ten levels apart. Yeah, yeah, not bad. I mean, t plus ten levels of of leveling. Yeah, and, and Pippa has more HP at nine levels up. up oh but, right, it's got pressure. Or eleven levels lame. up, but. Ah, uh, yeah, weak. Where's my ability capsule? Yeah. Uh, don't they always have pressure? I think they do. I don't know if... I mean, I've never had uh, um, Dialga, but... Ancient power, dang. All right. Uh, slash, flash cannon, roar of time. Okay. Wow. Steel dragon rock, so normal. Need some upgrades on moves. At least it has a stab steel move. Yeah, though. we're going to take a second. We're going to... This is obviously already a long episode. We're going to stretch it out a little bit more. Um, Stretching for time. We're all excited about your new god Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. So scarf, amulet, coin, uh, contact, smoke ball. What levels did you get it at? Forty-seven. Okay. And this is Gen. This is Gen nine, nine I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, bah, okay. Bah, so bah. it it can have telepathy, which means <laughs> that it avoids. <laughs> Damaging moves used by its allies. Oh, oh, so that would save it from being killed like Edgar. Yeah. <laughs> Insert Edgar clip here. Uh, that's not going to hit Edgar too, is it? It is. No! no! As, as many For times as possible. Third time this week. You're welcome, John. Third time this day. <laughs> uh... It learns some things, but you're going to be looking at TMs for it, I think. Yeah, I might... 
I think I'm going to put the iron plate on just because steel moves are going to be more useful more often. Flash cannon. And Roar yeah. of Time is going to just be a good fucking move. Period. <laughs> like, anytime it happens. Yep. Now let's look at some TMs real quick. Uh, steel wing. Cut. Cut is clearly what we're going to do. Yeah. No steel wing. Sunny day, no. Swagger is confusion on yourself, no. Strength, no. Rude. <laughs> Do, do, boop, 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 boop. Thunderbolt. You know, Thunderbolt's Can not learn. bad. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. What about uh, Dazzling Gleam? That's surprising. Dazzling Gleam is a no. Thunderbolt would be nice for water coverage since steel is bad against water. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll keep moving for now. Thunderbolt, we just got to remember. Ice Beam. Ice Beam uh, would be good against a bunch more stuff, including mm. other dragons. But I do have dragons, so I don't need Ice Beam. So oh, the next. Frozen is a nice. Um, it is. It's to rare. Apply. I think it's like 10%. Um, uh, it can learn all of the 90 hundred moves. It looks so like Thunderbolt, at, Ice Beam, and at 48, you will get Aura Sphere. Oh, so it's special. That's why it's next 47. Special fighting yeah. moves. That's so why like, it's 47. That's hilarious. Weird that it gets a fighting move, but like, yeah. I mean, it's like Aura Sphere is like weird and godly, I guess. Like, yeah. You know, just conjuring a sphere of power. Iron Tail only 75 accuracy. No. Bulldoze only 60 power. No. Also lowers speed, though. Oh, rest. I'll make my god sleep. Hey, it's worth uh, the... You just give it a Chesto Berry. It's worth it. There we go. Rock Slide, 75, Resto, 90. Chesto, Akimbo. Brick Break. And its special attack is way, 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 way better than its physical attack. Yes. Uh, rock Smash, Rock Tomb. Substitute, Fire Blast, no. I mean, Flash Cannon is... Oh, Stealth Rock. There we go. <laughs> I mean, that'd be a pretty How disgusting to infuriate John opener. In yeah, one single thing. Here's my God Pokemon. It lays a trap card. Have fun. Yeah, and now but try I to kill one it. card face down. Uh. By the way, I will not be switching. I mean, the fact that it's Dragon Steel means fire types. His fucking monkey yeah. neutral. Like his fire on steel is double, but fire on dragon is half. Yes. Like you've got that's it was great what, coverage. It was uh, fighting and ground, I think. Yeah, yes. it's good that he's pretty tanky. The, o the only you, two. That monkey is fast. Yes. Unfortunately, none of the three good special things here are good against flying or ground. That's I think why ground is good against ice, but ice is good against rock. Or do I have that backwards? Yeah, I think no. Ice is ice is good, ice against, good against ground. ground. So let's take a look real quick here. Yep, 800 warnings. <laughs> Just in case you weren't sure. Heightened so Slash crit. has a heightened chance of crit. Slash sucks. But like, but it's normal type. Yeah. It's normal that's type. That's not super effective for you because you don't have normal also, typing. Also, Slash is physical. Like, it's Slash it is also physical. Just doesn't that's take it. I mean, it does have move. 122 attack, but like, yeah, it's yeah, still but good 171 attack. special attack and. I guess the, the argument for yeah. Slash would be fighting someone who's got strong special defense. I guess. Sure, but, yeah. but, like, you have heightened special attack on your god. That that's 171 true. is with the arrow up. So Yeah, that's, that's the, the positive nature. Um, Negative nature is speed, which is eh, not good. But It's fine. He's a tank. Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking thick. Yeah. Yeah. Also, crits have steadily gotten less... I mean, strong over time. So ice will cover grass, ground, flying, and dragon. Yeah. So that'll be... I mean, it would also mean that I'm not the burning Roar of Time dragon. all the time. Although I suppose, yeah. The user can't move on the next turn, so Roar of Time has got to be a once in a while. So Ice Beam will actually be good against other dragons if I get yeah, stuck there. Yeah, use that before yeah, committing it. fully. Well, it's also 120, isn't it? Or 100, 150. 150. Yeah. It also only has yeah. 90 accuracy, and I don't know if you're stuck even if it fails. I don't think you are, but slightly a bummer That's, there. I actually have no idea. Um, I used a repel, I think. No, it ran out before you did your last battle, I think. I thought I just used one. Oh, I, I might have, have been looking at... Uh, you just use a escape rope. Well, I was going to oh, go down to the... Oh, you just stepped aside, didn't you? He, I was going to go okay, down yeah. to, the, uh, to the basement. That's right. There was that guy who was standing in the way who's probably I'm gone. I'm lost! Now. Help! Why do I... I'm Help. lost! So I did want to check that out real quick before we I don't quite know wrap up. Is. I hope it's just a room with, like, a thing in it and not a whole... Extra dungeon. Yeah, like, all right, now it's time for the real shit. You'll see. Wee! 
Thanks, Badoof. I mean, Ah, oh, my ass! It looks like you're riding on its face. Yeah, I was sitting on its head, on its face, and it's like, what am I doing with my life? I'll slow you down, going on my face. <laughs> Just give me a second to get my climbing shoes on. No, and and then, it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just what happened to my cousin? <laughs> Uh, is this is this gonna be? Oh no, my child! <laughs> yeah, baby. But doof. He got punched into a rock. It's the, it's the onomatopoeia for breaking the rock. But doof. But doof. But doof. Eh, eh. Is he gone? He's, He's gone. gone. Wonder what's in the basement. An item. Yo. Kinda nice to pick that up. Kinda nice to pick that up. It is physical, so it's maybe not the best call for my buddy boy, buddy boy. Mm -hmm. Still, one that's his name, you see, buddy well, boy. Still one two two on the on the stat. Like, I don't know, Kimbo. Uh, oh, it's 80, only a hundred. I mean, eighty is still good. I, I say only like it's sure. bad. It's eighty a hundred. <sighs> you don't a pass out for a turn. Yeah. There's a little part of me that's like it is technically better than using Roar of Time by virtue of being more accurate turn and for being turn, turn yeah. for turn yeah, better. Yeah, it's 160 over two turns instead I, of 150. It feels with real a weird of missing over two turns. It feels so yeah. weird to instantly steamroll over the signature move of a legendary Pokemon. Cool I down. guess so, but you also you know, but it's got 15 PP, so that's you know. Uh, fifty percent more output of damage too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just cool, raw cooldown. I guess sixty percent bug me when you take the accuracy as well. They bug me too. I think the big thing is if we're 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 in switch <sighs> mode, which means that I can use it, kill somebody, and move on out. Yeah. as well. Some of them. Well, no. On your turn afterwards, you can't do anything. Your Pokemon just sits there. You can't switch there's out. A, there's a. Can you not switch out even if you kill the other Pokemon? Yeah. Oh yeah! It every every like solar beam or whatever, all the cooldown moves or or no, that's a charge up move, I guess. Hyper beam is one that's a yeah is one that's a cooldown move. Yeah, is yeah. there a cooldown move that has an environmental effect that cancels it out, or is it just the charge that is ups? Solar beam with sunny terrain, sunny or, day. Yeah, yeah sunny, sunny day. day yeah, terrain. We'll so create harsh also light. harsh sunlight. sunlight. Yeah, there's harsh also then the it only condition. takes one turn to charge. I think there's a held item go. that does that, that has that effect. Uh, as well, mm -hmm. but I don't remember. Yeah, but I'm 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 quite sure, and I'll look it up so I don't tell lies. But I'm quite sure that when you use a cooldown oh. move, you just have to sit there. Oh, this makes sense. Is this a backdoor exit to the, into uh, to the, the northern section? Yeah. yeah. Oh, now you're just in normal Mount Coronet. Yeah. I forgot entirely that that passage has been blocked the whole time. So now Good. we're back out to there. You go. Woot to eleven. Regular stuff. Uh, cool. Well, with that. We're going to call it there. We're going to come back next time, and we're going to head for Sunny Shore City and uh, endure 8th Gym. Hooray! Bye-bye-bye-boo-bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>